Hi everyone, welcome back to UI Party Tutorials. Today we are going to talk about the perform boards. We have already talked about the dispatcher boards. So in the dispatcher board we have added the few items to the queue. So let me show you those items. So these were the items that we added. So the status is new for those. And so earlier I have run the board, so that's why it's uh, successful here for few of the items. So now let me show you the code first or let me show you the process also so what the bot is going to do is it will going to pick the information like the invoice number from here copy the in, means invoice number get the invoice number from of each item one by one and just put it here invoice number search for it and check whether this this information present on the item or not so if it's there then it put, uh, put the status success now now just come to the code let me show you code quickly you don't need to uh, 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 you have to change the few of the things here like in in it just if you come below in the kill process just put your put the kill process activity uh, just, uh, just process name i explore if you come to the main again coming below in in it, in it all application here just put the I have just created login ACM is ML file now here what I have done is I'm opening browser and putting the URL here and this is the predefined ML file you just don't need to do anything just click on the import arguments And just put the you here the variables like username and password so these variables present on the login ACME page and one more thing just give the asset name also the asset name I have already told you how to create the credentials on the orchestrator in the assets so you can watch that video re framework part 1 so I am passing the name of the asset I am retrieve the username and password from there from this workflow now coming below there is a type into activity with the username and this is the type secure text for the password so you can in the property go to the property and just write down the password variable coming below click on it will going to click the button for the login now you log into the ACME what you will going to do is you now get the transaction data from the queue so, so with the help of this activity you can get the transaction items so one more thing you should you don't need to change few of the things just you just need to just create few of the arguments like out transaction adding invoice items okay, now how to get the values now for example it will going to pick the first item from the queue for example the board is going to pick this items now it will going to put these information hold these information here in the variables for example it is going to put the invoice number here it is going to pick uh, it is going to put the vendor text id in the out transaction id arguments so in this way we get the, all the information of that items now if you are going to click the import arguments just define here the variables on the right side so that the, all the values on the get transaction data xml file will come on this main file now you have done with this get transaction data come below in the process transaction in the process what you need to do is as I already told you we have to navigate to the search invoice so for that I use navigate to and put the URL so this URL I have just this is this is basically coming from the dictionary and the dictionary we have defined the asset so the and the end and the asset values define the orchestrator this so from here I'm going to get the URL navigate URL 
navigate URL is, is this is our navigate URL invoices this invoice oblique searches now just use the type invoice number type the invoice number then click the search button extract the data when you extract the data you are iterating with data dead data and checking whether that data is present is matching exactly that was present on the orchestrator or not so for example this is the data and they should be present here in the item so if you check the details this is the information of the data so this should be matched if it matched go to the prop property just use set transaction status and just write in the successful if it's not then use the set transaction status and just write the field I'm going to run the support so that you you can it it can be more clear. Here, bot will going to log in to the ACME. Let me open the browser. Put the email ID and password. Get from the get credential dot xml file and then click on the login button that when going to get transaction item in the backend and it retrieves the get transaction uh, for example it going to retrieve the first item and will going to the invoice number it will put the invoice number and click on the search okay six five three seven three seven for 653 it will going to check whether this is present or not 653737 I think this is completed let's check for the first item only so this was the item 653737 uh, so it, it, the status is new when I'm going to refresh it you can see it, the status is successful so what what is find this information present in ACME so the board has put the status successful so this is how it put the second item also and as I have stopped the board so it, it will it, it hasn't put, put uh, just pick these remaining items so in this way we can just do with the performer board if anything anything I have missed or if you have any query just comment on my video or just if you want this XAML file for uh, to get a few things uh, uh, for uh, if you want to uh, want this XAML file for more clear vision then just email me on uipart tutorials at gmail.com thanks for watching my videos have a good day